So, Vasil Lomachenko making boss statements. But is he a boss? Let's get into it. Straighter! Yep, the, Not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a little music. bit. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. So, Vasil Lomachenko was in hiding somewhere. You know, making up excuses about a shoulder injury that he had from getting his ass whooped by Tiafimo Lopez. You know, and mainstream media said nothing about it. You know, all the Wilder haters said nothing about it. They were A-OK -okay with Tiafimo, I mean, Tiafimo Lopez beating the shit out of Vasil Lomachenko. Vasil Lomachenko running around here talking about before the fight, how he was always injured, but now he's in the greatest shape of his life, no injuries, coming to this fight, the best shape ever. He's going to um, embarrass Tiafimo Lopez and blah, blah, all this other dumbass shit. And then after he gets his ass whooped, all of a sudden, he had a shoulder injury. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, he pulled a Manny Pacquiao. All of a sudden. Shoulder injury, shoulder's been tore. The whole thing is, is his arm is just hanging off. The whole, it's just, there, there's no bone in it. There's no bone. The whole shoulder is all broken. It's been destroyed. You know, he's been like this for seven years. All this other dumbass, weird-ass, stupid-ass excuses. But, you know, the Wilder haters seem to not know anything about that. They just care about Deontay Wilder. Whatever. So, Devin Haney says, yo, where the fuck is Vasil Lomachenko at? <laughs> where is this dude? And then up pops Vasil Lomachenko say, oh, I'm right here. You coward. I'm right here. The audacity, the audacity of Vasil Lomachenko to call Devin Haney a coward. The audacity. Devin Haney was your mandatory. You requested the WBC franchise belt so that you did not have to fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney was calling you out for what, two years? DM'd you said, let's fight. Talking, say your name is Nomachenko because you don't want to fight me. I'm your mandatory. You know, and you said nothing. You had Bob Arum say, oh, well, you know, the fight with Lomachenko and Devin Haney is nonsense. There's 10 better lightweights or 20 better lightweights or 95 better lightweights than Devin Haney. There's so many other fighters that are just better than Devin Haney. It's nonsense. He's wet behind the ears. Ah. But then Lomachenko says... I'm right here waiting. <laughs> I'm right here waiting, you coward. I'm waiting. <laughs> Mind you, before this, it already came out that Vasil Lomachenko is fighting Nakatani Tuki Tuki. That's who you're fighting. But mysteriously, you're waiting for Devin Haney. <laughs> you're waiting for Devin Haney. I wonder, would Vasil Lomachenko have said anything if Devin Haney didn't say, where's Lomachenko? I just wonder if Vasil Lomachenko would have popped out of his fucking rat hole and said, I'm right here. Hey, how come nobody wants to fight me? I'm still Vasil Lomachenko. I wonder if he would have said anything. He waited for Devin the Dream Haney to say something about him for him to say, oh, I'm right here. You coward, I'm right here. <laughs> and y'all ran with it. Oh yeah, Devin Haney's scared. Devin Haney's gonna duck Vasil Lomachenko. Bro, you already had a fight with Nakatani Tukituki. You already had that fight. That fight was already there for you. But oh, you know, you're waiting. So Devin says, I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll be ready. So if Vasil Lomachenko is a boss... When Devin says, I'll be ready. May, April, I'll be ready. When Devin says that, Devin is his own boss. So when Devin says that, why didn't Lomachenko jump on that? Why didn't Lomachenko say, okay, 
Nakatani Tuki Tuki, you don't have a belt. Devin the Dream Haney does have a belt. So since Devin the Dream Haney has a belt, I'm going to go fight Devin Haney. So I'm the fighter. Uh, Bob Arum, you work for me. I'm the boss. Make that fight. Make the Devin Haney fight. I'm the boss. Make the Haney fight. That's the one I want. Hmm. Hmm. But, you know, it gets me to thinking. It gets me to thinking. Uh, Vasil Lomachenko. How come you never became undisputed at 126? If you're a boss. Just ask him. If you are your own boss. You're your boss. You the boss. Uh, these guys work for you. So how come you never became undisputed at 126? How come you didn't tell uh, Bob Arum to get you the other champions at 126? How come you didn't become undisputed at 130? I know you was calling for Tank Davis. I know, but Tank Davis was not a unified champion. Tank Davis only had one belt. And at the time you was calling him, he didn't have no belt. You wanted to fight Tank Davis with no belt. So how come you never wanted to fight any of the other champions? How come you never became undisputed at 130? If you had a belt and Tank had a belt, there were still two other belts out there. How come you never tried to get either one of those? If 126 is your natural weight, why did you move all the way up to 135 and try to become undisputed? That's not a glory weight. I'm, I'm baffled. And again, nobody will answer that. Nobody will answer how why little, tiny, small Vasil Lomachenko moved up from 126 to 130 to 135 just to become undisputed there instead of becoming undisputed at 126, his natural weight. Or 130, his natural weight. But you're a boss. You're the boss, Dave. Or is he? I don't think so. I think Vasil Lomachenko is a puppet. Vasil Lomachenko is now calling for Devin the Dream Haney's name, knowing good and damn well he is fighting Nakatani Tukatuki. He is clout chasing Devin's name, clout chasing, in order to build up hype for Nakatani Tukituki. Bob Arum says, oh, people want to see Vasil Lomachenko. Who? Then why isn't he on pay-per-view? If people want to see him, why isn't he fighting Nakatani Tuki Tuki on pay-per-view? If people want to vis see Vasil Lomachenko, why didn't he fight Tiafimo Lopez on pay-per-view? It was undisputed, according to y'all. So why didn't he fight for undisputed on pay-per-view? No answers. Nobody. Nobody wants to question to answer that at all. I'll tell you why. Because nobody gave a fuck about who you was fighting. That's why. Pay-per-views, wanting to see you, is built on who you are fighting. That's what it's built on. And then once you are fighting the best of the best, then you can just fight anybody on pay-per-view. Once you get to that level of what you are, who you are fighting is the best, we are, we are interested, all right, we're interested in you. We want to see you now. Regardless of who you're fighting, we want to see you. When you get to that level, then it doesn't matter who you fight, it can be on pay-per-view. That's how Manny Pacquiao was. That's how Floyd Mayweather was. That's how Oscar De La Hoya was. We are interested in you as the fighter. When you get to that point, fight anybody you want. Put it on pay-per-view because we will buy it because we are interested in seeing you. That is why Errol Spence now fights exclusively on pay-per-view. Because we're interested in the champ. But again, Vasil Lomachenko has never fought on pay-per-view. Never. You are not the boss of shit. You don't run anything. You are a fucking puppet. You clout chased and used Devin Haney's name when it was strategically fine for you to do so. 
Because when Devin Haney, when you were the champion and Devin Haney was trying to fight you, you didn't, uh, eh, you just brushed him off, blew him off. It was nothing. Didn't even bring his name up. But let me guess, let me guess. How come no one is saying that Vasily Lomachenko is desperate? Isn't that what they say about uh, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia? They're desperate. Desperate fighters. So how come Vasily Lomachenko isn't desperate? Ah, I guess that complexion for the protection is, is a, a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> that, that, that being void of melanin in your skin is beautiful. Just beautiful. You just get over with everything because you're void of melanin. I could just skate under. I could just skate under that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want these fights. That's the fight I want. I want. I want Devin Haney. Okay, boss. You want Devin Haney, boss. So why are you fighting Nakatani Tuki Tuki? Oh, because he's fighting Jorge Linares. Well, uh, he wasn't signed to fight him when you said um, he you're right here. He wasn't signed to fight him. Devin said, I'll be ready in April. That was, or ready in April, ready in May. Whatever he, which, whichever month he said. He'll be ready. He was not signed at that point. The fight was not official to fight Jorge Linares. It wasn't official. You, as a boss, could have told the guy that you work, that works for you, Bob Arum, that you want Devin Haney. Make that fight next. But no, you're fighting Nakatani Tuki Tuki because your boss told you that's who you're fighting. Your boss told you that. Your boss told you you're fighting Nakatani Tuki Tuki months ago. You ain't a boss. You're a fucking puppet. You are a fraud. Another fraud. Another fucking hype job. That's what you are. That's why you got beat the fuck up by Tiafimo Lopez. Because you're a hype job. You've always been a hype job. Always. You strategically fight who these motherfuckers that they, oh, well, you know, I fight who they put in front of me. Of course. Of course. Well, how about you fight who you put in front of you? How about that? How about you put someone in front of you that you want to fight? Because you wanted to fight Tank Davis. Tank Davis said, it's time. And then mysteriously, you wanted to fight somebody else. But again, no one talks about it. That melanin must be great. That lack of melanin must be great. Being devoid of melanin in your system must be great because you cry like a bitch for years about how you want Tank Davis until Tank says it's time and then all of a sudden you want somebody else. Let me guess, you're pulling a Terrence Crawford. <laughs> you know, you want, you want this, you want that until that says, okay, now all of a sudden you don't want it no more. <laughs> I guess that's how you top, top rank niggas are, bro, I guess. Whatever, man, you're not a boss. You don't run shit, you're ran. Now run your ass over to Nakatani Tuki Tuki and hopefully you don't get knocked the fuck out, which more than likely can happen. BFTB, shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.